another episode of Learning Escort uh, tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to cover functions in Escort. So let's again start with uh, from the homepage from escort.io. From there, we can click documentation link again. And then under language specification, we can find uh, section functions. So as in many other high level languages, you can define your own functions within Escript. So the simple syntax to do this is just uh, write the keyword function followed by a function name and then list of parameters, colon, and then followed by your return tag. And then in your body, you can write anything uh, you, can, you, you can. So for example, here we have a very simple function called sum. Basically, it takes two integers, sum them up, and return the result. Okay. So one thing to note here in Escript, the return, the position of the return statement has to be at the last statement of uh, in the function body. So it can only appear here, and it must appear here. So for example, in this case, if we want to return, if we want to write a simple function to compute the absolute value for some assigned integer a, we can change the format from here to this format. So usually you need to uh, do some kind of a, a return and then save the return result there and then finally you can return it. So that's how you overcome without uh, being able to write return statement at any place. And also it's worth noting, we don't have a recursion in Escript. The reason is uh, we mentioned this before. So basically for Escript smart contract, it has to run and verify it by miners. So to prevent a DDoS attack, there's no infinite loop. And uh, infinite recursion is a special case of infinite loop. So for safety reasons, we don't allow recursion. So basically a function, cannot call itself either directly or indirectly. So after we talk about, uh, you can define your own function. Uh, we also provide a lot of uh, building library functions for you to use. A lot of uh, them are very commonly used to perform some very uh, high frequent uh, functions. For example, you have all these uh, math libraries. The basin is computing mean value, max value, or absolute value. You also have a uh, hashing function to compute a, a lot of uh, commonly used hashes. For example, SHA-256 or SHA-1. Also, you have uh, very commonly in Bitcoin when we transfer, when we place requirement on how do you spend coins, usually we need the receiver to provide a signature for the corresponding public key. So we also, for this purpose, we have a check seek function. Also, we have the multi seek version, which is called a check multi seek. Also, I want to uh, emphasize here a lot of the functions uh, can be applied to the bytes type we mentioned earlier. So, for example, one big uh, category is as we mentioned uh, earlier, we have uh, a few primitive types. One is integer and one is bytes. A lot of time you want to convert between these two. So how do you convert uh, an integer to a bytes type? So you use this uh, building function called unpack. So for example, in this case, you can unpack a bytes into an integer. And then how do you go the other direction? You use pack. Basically when you want to go from a bytes type to a integer type, you can, you can use a, uh, pack. Also, I want to emphasize the slicing operator here, which you can think about uh, it's an overloaded uh, function, but uh, for the slicing operator. So is the you can slice it with this syntax. It's very similar to array indexing, but uh, instead of uh, just have one number inside a square bracket, you have a stand, start, and, and the end. The basically this slicing operation give you the subarray of B from index start to the end. It doesn't include the end. 
So if you can, either of them can be omitted. So if a start is omitted, uh, that means starting from the beginning. And if end is omitted, it, it means the slicing goes from start to all the way to the end. And another function is a reverse bias because in a lot of cases, you want to uh, convert between different uh, endings. For example, if some of them is encoded in big ending, you want to convert it to small ending. So that's when it becomes uh, very handy. So that's all for today. I think uh, I will see you next time. Thank you.